Hello everyone this is Khalil Musa and I'm here to help you to explore the amazing topic in your life just keep in your mind, you can understand every single information just keep trying. These are the questions we will explore in this video. By the end you'll have a deeper understanding and appreciation for the incredible world of magnetism. So without further ado, also we'll practice mathematical problems and physical meaning problems so be engaged and focus. Let's dive into the magnetic marvels of the current carrying wire. Have you ever wondered how a current carrying wire produces a magnetic field? To understand this first, we need to define what a magnetic field is. A magnetic field is a region around a magnetic material or a moving electric charge within which the force of magnetism acts. Now if we take a wire, any wire and pass an electric current through it, something incredible happens. That wire, as unassuming as it may be, begins to create a magnetic field around itself. It does this by creating circles of magnetic influence around its length. Because we have discussed before about current carrying wire, and as a summary of that the produced magnetic field depends on field, the magnetic permittivity, MIO, current intensity, I, and the distance from the wire, R. So, let us do practice problems for more understanding, only pause the slide and follow the steps. Question 1. A straight current carrying conductor is carrying a current of 10 ampers to the positive x-axis. Find the magnitude of the magnetic field produced at 2 meter distance point above the wire. First thing that we're going to do is list the given information second it is the time to apply the formula now. The direction of magnetic field around the wire is determined by right hand rule. Remember your thumb in the direction of current and your fingers rotate around the wire in the direction of magnetic field. In our example we'll get the direction outside the board or paper it is represents by dot. In general, magnetic field is direct proportional to the magnetic permittivity and current. Higher permittivity or current, stronger the field but it's inversely proportional to the distance from the wire, move further away, and the field weakens. Some application are, the phenomenon of a current carrying wire creating a magnetic field has far-reaching implications. It's not just a scientific curiosity but a principle that's instrumental in the functioning of many devices we use daily. Take speakers for instance. They rely on this principle to convert electrical signals into sound. Electric motors too use the magnetic fields generated by current carrying wires to create motion. Then we have electromagnets devices that use electricity to create a magnetic field. They're everywhere from scrapyard cranes lifting cars to MRI machines in hospitals. Now let us take a look for example 2. A straight current carrying conductor is carrying a current of 5 ambers to the north. Find the magnitude of the magnetic field produced by it at 1 meter distance. As the previous example you should follow the steps, take your paper and pencil and start working on it if the answer is, even the electricity we use every day owes its existence to this principle. Power plants, whether they're wind, hydro or nuclear, essentially work by moving a wire in a magnetic field to generate electricity. Continue practice don't not stop her, there is another example. Now the third example explain the same idea only it give a general direction of magnetic field around the wire not the magnetic field at certain point. So let's start example 3 is, a straight current carrying conductor produces a magnetic field of 5 tesla at 2 meter distance clockwise. Find the magnitude of the electric current flowing through it. Our procedure still the same. You should start with given information and apply the formula to get the magnitude and right hand rule to determine the direction if your answer is 50. Mega ambers and the direction is downward, then you are all right and you got amazing practice and understanding. So as we reach the end of our video we have short answer problem here. In the diagram shown, the particles gun, electron protons, helium nucleus and neutron, determine the types of particles travels in different path and explain your answer. To answer this type of question, we should apply the right hand rule to determine the direction and consider the value of charges. So from the top there are two paths of charge from the right hand rule, they should be positive so we have proton and nucleus of helium. But the helium nucleus is heavier than the proton, so it will take long bath, that is mean first path for proton, and second for helium nucleus. Now the third path continues straight, that is mean it do not affect with magnetic field. So no charge at all ya, yeah, you are right it is neutron and the fourth charge should be the electron hope you got all information you need, see you in next video. Thank you for watching Magnetic Marvels, the current carrying wire. Keep exploring, keep asking questions and keep the spark of curiosity alive. Until next time happy studying.